And my grandmother was very devoted to his memory. So Shalom Aleichem's works had value. And the value would go through the hands of the producers and the major artists. And they never paid their bills. It was considered vulgar to pay somebody for writing. Because what is writing? That's nothing. He sits down and he writes. But I sell and I go this and I do that. My grandmother was famous for collecting royalties. Yet she took the subway every day from Brighton Beach, which is, if you know New York, is at the end of the world. It was a L. So we'd go up the stairs, the big stairs. She had several legs, could hardly walk. And she'd walk up to go to her office, whether she had business or not, and to go to Union Square, where they had, they, they had an office. Shalom Aleichem Publications had an office in an office building, 31 Union Square. And she would be writing letters to people collecting money for not, for not paying, and for other reasons she could, right up to her end. And she, and she would go to Europe, too, to collect. She would come up with an umbrella and, it, and it, it more or less ver, not only verbally attack them in their offices because they didn't pay royalties. And it, it was a scandal on Second Avenue. She yeah. kept an umbrella there that she would like raise if she's going to hit them over the head. <laughs> so they were always fighting over royalties. And that's all we'd hear in the house. She, she lived with us. So, well, they don't pay, they don't pay, they do this and that. So um, that was really the, the focal point. And my grandmother was very famous for that. Very, you know, strong, strong businesswoman. Her father was a businessman, so I guess she inherited it. Had a good sense of humor, too. And, but she didn't know English at all. How did you communicate with her? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, how, how do kids go to talk to their grandparents, you know. She's doing all the talking anyway, so what could I do, you know. So, uh, now they were very nice about it. 